Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. We're in the shave den and it's time for another shave. It's Wednesday at lunch. I hope everybody's doing good. Hope you had a good weekend. It's raining really good in Southern California. In fact, I think California's almost out of its drought and it sure feels like it because we have not got this much rain and snow in decades. And I've been here since 1970 or 1969 and I've never seen it like this, except in the early 80s when the Huntington Beach Pier got knocked down twice by storms. Now they've got a concrete pier, so that'll never happen again. Used to be the old wooden ones. All right. Well, I kind of goofed up. I was going to show you a shave today on Formula T uh, from the wet shaving store. Wet shaving products has a uh, soap and they have, uh, this is rustic uh, shaving soap. This is black amber vanilla but I ordered the wrong type. I didn't order the Formula T version. I ordered this type. So I'm going to try this type today anyway. I've got it. I'm going to give it a try. And Formula T hopefully will be on the way because Formula T is like uh, supposed to be a little slicker. So we're going to use it later. Mm. And this is a nice, nice soap. We're going to give this one a try. And I'm going to be using the Tatara Matsum uh, razor. Because I did a shave the other day, the last shave, with uh, Pearl's razor, and the handle was very similar. In fact, that's the uh, Tatara uh, shave brush, too. But the head on the Pearl is completely different than this. First of all, this razor is a lot heavier. It's uh, milled steel. It is uh, very heavy. Uh, it's good grip. The other one was aluminum. This is a heavy-duty razor. And the head is different than the, uh, the pearl. And I've done this razor before. If you look back, you can see. But I'm going to use this razor today. In fact, I'm going to be using it with, if I can find them. Can't find them. Oh, found them. I just don't look very far. I'm going to use the Wilkinson Sword Gillette blade with this today. And for the aftershave, I'm going to use my Polo Blue. And you can see, if you can kind of see in there where it is. This is almost gone. I really enjoy Polo Blue, so I'll be using that today. So welcome. Welcome. Hope all is well. It's been tax season. I uh, just did my taxes. I, you know, my mom passed away. We sold our house. I thought I was going to be dinged with taxes, but when it was all said and done, uh, I owe them $4,000, and I thought I was going to owe $20,000, so I'm very happy that I do not have to pay out an arm and a leg to uh, Uncle Sam. So uh, taxes are done. I'm very happy. Now I can go on to worrying about other things. All right, let's load up this razor. And if you see, there's a notch. See around the post, there's a, a gap. And at the end of it, there's a little tip. And that tip goes into that notch and locks it into place. And this razor is awesome. Absolutely awesome. All right. I'm going to use the, uh, the bore. I'm going to put it into here. I actually haven't used this razor in a while. So thank you, commenters. I'm glad you brought up uh, the Tatara. Now I'm, I'm using it again. All right. And I've got a lot of growth going. So I think we're ready to rock. Perfect. I sweat the face. It's lunchtime. I had a shower this morning. But I figure I'll use the lunch break to uh, get the shave going. Black, amber, vanilla. Very nice. Well, then I, if I get the Formula T version, I'll see how that one goes. But I've had no problem with this, this the regular rustic versions of the soaps that I've tried. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. No problem at all. Well, if you follow my Instagram account, you might see, actually that's kind of a tip. I usually on Instagram, I'll say coming soon to YouTube and I'll have a preview of this video. Uh, but then on YouTube, I'll release the video a short while later. But on Instagram, 
I uh, just posted, I got another, I traded another pinball machine. I traded my Elvira uh, Scared Stiff for uh, Stern's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video or pinball machine. And I traded my Munsters Pro for a uh, Mandalorian Premium. And it's just arrived, but it's bare stock. I need to get some of the mods on there. And I barely played it, maybe four games. So I'm looking forward to putting in some time on that. But we'll do that in another video. This is a shaving video, so let's try this out. So precise. You can feel it cutting that hair so precisely. And it's a quality razor. You're going to pay a little more for quality. I mean, high end, high end quality razor. You're going to, uh, you know, most of the razors I use are quality razors, but some are aluminum is less expensive. than stainless steel. But here's a little trivia. If you have your time machine and you can go back to uh, the late 1800s in the United States, the capstone on the Washington Monument is the most expensive metal available at the time, more expensive than gold or platinum. And you know what it was? Aluminum, because aluminum is hard to find in nature. They didn't uh, refine the smelting process till later. Useless knowledge, but if you could go back with a pound of aluminum, you could trade it for a pound of gold. And then some. I found that out when I was on the Washington DC tour a few years ago. I did not know that. Then I watched Aerial America and uh, they talked about it in there too when they flew over Washington DC. All right. Man, this is just, this soap is super slick. And it knocked it down. So if this is super slick, I cannot imagine what the Formula T is gonna be like. So I'm looking forward to giving it a shot. I've been talking to Andy at the wet shaving store and he does say the Formula T is really excellent. And I can't wait to uh, try that out. Now my hands are super slick and I am having a little trouble <laughs> holding this brush. But I didn't drop it yet. Get that soap off my hand. It's so slick, it's slippery. <laughs> but no problem, grippy. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Star Wars and The Mandalorian, and uh, it's kind of nice to have a pinball machine in the man cave that uh, is Star Wars related. I was 15 in 1977, 15, and uh, I saw the premiere of Star Wars at the Newport Beach, Edwards Newport Cinema in Fashion Island, Newport Beach, and at the time, it was the largest screen west of the Mississippi. And I saw every sequel in that theater. And it's a great childhood memory. So I really am a big Star Wars nerd fan. And I enjoy The Mandalorian. Oh man, very nice, very nice. Oh, hey, hang on, little fine tune. There we go. All right. Soap in my ears, of course. The rustic shave soap, no cuts. That razor, beautiful. Super good shave. That's one of the, I would call it, heirloom razors that you can give to your kids and your grandkids and uh, it's still gonna perform fantastic. All right. I don't think I've used, whoop, I don't think I've used alcohol-based 
aftershave in a while. So let's give it a shot. Oh, very nice. Whew, what a burn. Love that polo blue. I like it better than polo green because I think I mentioned in the past my good buddy that I grew up with who's now living in Greece, Mr. James Roberts. He's a polo green guy and he wore polo green everywhere and I didn't want to be the doppelganger. So I went to the polo blue. And I also like the red. I like Ralph Lauren products. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope the rest of the week is good for you. And I do look forward. Uh, oh, and I've got some new soaps coming out and the upcoming video from PAA and the wet shaving store. I'm going to put in another order for Formula T. And this time I'm going to order the correct stuff and we'll hopefully try that out too. Until next time, stay safe and have a great week. Bye for now.